Hello everybody, this tutorial will be for solving the Pyraminx. I'm going to teach you the beginner's method. And yeah, let's get into this video. So the first step is to scramble it, of course. But chances are, if you're watching this video, your cube is already scrambled. Because you don't know how to solve it. Or maybe not. I don't know. But before we get in, I need to show you, you um, something that you need to learn in the algorithm you need to go like this. It's called a sledgehammer. This algorithm is called a sledgehammer. Go like this. Just like that. Because what that will do is we'll insert this edge into this spot here. So it'll go. See, because now the edge is in there. And then the left-hand version, which is basically just reversing it, goes like this. I'll have the text on the screen if you want to follow along by that. But yeah. And so once you have that down, the first step is to solve the uh, first layer. Because we're going to be doing this layer by layer. Because there's really only two layers because these tips don't really do anything until the end. Then you'll just have to rotate them until it's solved. But so the first step is to solve one layer. So we'll start with the uh, yellow. Because that's it's um, probably the most color neutral thing. So what you need to do is you need to find one of the center pieces. This, this, you know, this, this, and this. These are the center pieces, okay? I'm going to refer to these as the center pieces. So you find one of the center pieces, and then you turn this. This, and see how there's a tip here? That means that it's connected to one of the center pieces if it's yellow. Here it is. So rotate that. And make sure these colors, these two center pieces match. Okay? And then the other side right here, that should already be a center piece. There you go. So now we have like what would be like the yellow cross on a 3x3 three three, or white cross. And so now we need to insert the edges into the right spot. So this one here is red and yellow, so you find red here. Red is right here, because you just check the center pieces. And then if the yellow sticker is on this side, then you need to do the left-handed sledgehammer, which I showed you in the beginning, which goes like this. And then that should be in there. So now you rotate it again, and if, see this one is green, so rotate it over here. And it's also on this side, so then do the left hand sledgehammer. And then the last one is blue, and it's on this side, so you do the right handed sledgehammer. Now you should see that you have the first layer done. So now the last step is the last layer. So what you need to do the, for the last layer, there are going to be uh, three cases, or no, my bad, five cases. Five cases there will be. This is one of them. I will have the algorithm on the screen right here that I will show you. So the first case is going to have this line right here that is all solved. And then this solve right here, I mean this line is solved, then this is not. So what you need to do is hold the little not so solve side on your right and have this part in the front. Then you need to do this algorithm. I will have it up on the screen as well if you want to follow that. And then that will solve the key, or triangle, if you want to call it that. So then there is going to be another version, which will look like um, this, where instead it's on this side, like that. And so the algorithm for that is you sort of just need to reverse the other one. So I'll have it up on the screen in a minute. So it should be up on the screen right here. And what you need to do is go like this. I need to go. And that would solve the cube. And now we're going to have a couple more cases. One is like this, where these edges need to flip. And the way you do that is first you do a right-handed sledgehammer. Then insert this into here by going like this. From the top, up, like that, 
and then done. Yeah, and then there will be another case where um, these edges need to flip over to there, and these need to go there, and those to there. This will be the counterclockwise edge case, and the way you solve that is by going like this. Like that. And then the reverse of that, where the edges need to go this way, the clockwise edge case, you go like this. That's my favorite case because you can just do it really fast like that. But yeah. So that is all of the edge cases for the last layer. And now if you just follow that tutorial, you should have solved your pyraminx. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!